Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. Network functions virtualization is conceptually similar to the way in which apps run on a smartphone. So here we've got a bunch of different apps and they all provide different jobs for the subscriber who actually uses them. So these apps actually run as software on a common piece of hardware, with the common piece of hardware being the smartphone itself. So conceptually, if we map this to network functions virtualization, here we've got a mobile service provider's network. And if you look at that network, it's made up of a whole bunch of different network nodes. So we've got nodes from 2G, 3G, and 4G. Now, they can be individual boxes. They might be combined in some cases. But fundamentally, we've got lots of different pieces of hardware performing different roles in the network. Now, with network functions virtualization, we take those roles that these different pieces of hardware perform and we place them as a software process on a common piece of hardware, as you can see. Now that common piece of hardware is a common off-the-shelf server running the processing power required to push all of these various virtualized network functions. So the hardware, the processing power, is based on something like the Intel x86 architecture. It's very, very commonly encountered across the world today for processing power. Now, by running all of these various network nodes as software functions on a piece of common hardware, it's got various implications for the service provider, including cost effectiveness. It's much cheaper to run the network in this manner than it is to run lots and lots of individual nodes and also buy each one of those nodes in the first instance. It means we can deploy extra capacity in the network much more rapidly. So instead of lead times in the region of months, we're talking about lead times to deploy new pieces of architecture in the region of days or even hours. And then finally, it's a highly scalable architecture. So the management system that comes with NFV can monitor the network and scale capacity up or down as and when required. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.